Hello! Welcome back to episode 9 of our Let's Play Starbound Volcano Colony. Today we're going to attract some rarer tenants, and three or four of them, one of which is going to be the Creepling Human Villager, which you can only attract using a lot of odd furniture. You've got to cover 40 blocks worth of oddness. Um, and that's various different things, so we'll have to go looking for that sort of thing on different planets. But first, we're going to quickly redecorate the sauna. I picked up loads of seashell type stuff from the froggy um, furniture shop on the outpost. So I thought, what do you want? Everyone always gathers in the sauna, the creepy pricks. So I thought I'd redecorate this place, attract a new tenant who will be themed around seashell type stuff. So I've made this sauna a little bigger. I'm um, just fucked up the platform there. Ah, oh, water. As that's still healing water, by the way. So the sauna is very therapeutic indeed. Um, someone's escaped with their life. The lucky fucks. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got a seashell bed. Lovely. Got a lamp. Even lovelier. We've got two lamps. Oh, this is Lamp City now. Um, where can that go? Right there, in the sauna. Uh, there's a chair. And there's somewhere... There's a coal mirror. We can put that there. It'd be nice to actually put a bit of the, the old pictures back as well. There we go. We can just do one of them. And that should attract a seashell-themed tenant. And pretty much everyone else in the fucking colony. Go away! There we go. That guy over there who's already fucked off. Lucky someone or other who's got a little um, scuba dive thing going on there. Ooh, he just puked through his bloody facial mask thing. Anyway, that's rather lovely, I think. Cool, okay, so that's some... Um, we'll leave them to it. Oh, apparently, um, he, our new tenant is um, chasing me. Possibly to already fix the bloody washing machine or something. Go away! <laughs> okay, so I've hollowed out this bit in preparation for two, maybe three houses? Uh, I haven't really got a plan yet. Um, however, so I do want to attract an odd tenant. Um, but I also want to attract... In fact, I'm going to go back to the ship. <laughs> What's a talk? I also want to attract a few other tenants who are some tenants we haven't seen so far. Like I'm particularly keen on getting an alpaca guard because they're alpacas and they're well cool. But I also want an all-seeing knight, which is found on an, in an eye patch biome. Um, possibly a fleshy collector on an alien planet, a flowerpot salesman, a naturalist merchant, a mushroom merchant, a maggot man, maybe even a froggy merchant, or a tar person. So those those are all cool tenants that we haven't attracted so far. And where am I at the moment? Um, let's see, a lush planet. Desert planet? No, none of those are any good. Uh, I think tar would be possible. But I think we're going to have to leave this system. We're currently on a... Oh, we're on a gentle star. Hmm, let's have a look at an eccentric star, actually. That's, that might be useful. Should have enough fuel. Ocean planet? I don't think there's anything in ocean planets just yet. I think that might be the next update, when you get high lottle stuff under the ocean. Oh, alien. Um, yeah, that... Eye patch and flesh biomes. Okay, let's go there. If I actually select the damn thing. There we go. Right, so th so yeah, um, so f fleshy collectors and all-seeing knights can be found in different biomes on alien planets. The the odd furniture, though, is going to be... Well, it's gonna, I need to get a lot of that stuff. Um, and you can get it from kind of alien planet furniture, just like generic alien planet stuff. You can get things like brains in jars and disobey signs. Um, you can any kind of eye furniture from eye biomes or sub biomes, uh, flesh furniture, slime caves furniture, tar furniture, and lots of other stuff as well. Okay, we're at our alien planet. Now I've been around a lot already, so it does occur to me if you go to the crafting table that some of the stuff that we can um, craft might actually be useful for creating creating odd furniture. This is stuff. This is furniture tagged with odd, which isn't um, obvious in game. Um, but yeah, I mean people have researched this on the wiki. So stuff like um, eye furniture. If you type in eye, e i. Um, already, I must have collected some blueprints at some point, so I, I can already craft an eye chair and an eye table. But I will need um, piles of eyes, um, which you can get from oculum and stuff like that. And we can also do a table. And so this is going to be possible, hopefully, even if we don't find millions of things. Flesh, yes, that's possible. Slime, let's try some slime furniture. Um, not so much. And tar furniture. Yep, there's all that sort of stuff as well. So we may, may not even need to find any blueprints. Uh, we just need to find some raw materials, I think. Uh, let's go down to the planet. So yeah, there's some alien planets are actually probably the best for our tenant attractive. Oh, straight into an eye biome. Cool. Um, this is going well. Right, okay, so eye patch. So I need to collect eyes, I guess. Oh, 
Bloody hell. That went down quickly. Flesh strand pile of... Oh, pile of eyes. Already I've got some eyes. Um, are these eyes? Are these all eyes? Oh, they are. I will be able to make things quite quickly by the looks of it. Yes, get all the eyes. What else can I get? Um, so yeah, if I can find some eye patch type furniture as well, and then we'll be able to get an all-seeing knight. Um, let's... Oh, gladly hell! Oh. I don't think flesh strands are going to be useful for anything. Uh, oh, an actual baddie! Ooh! Kill him in seconds. Oh, it's one of those, the bombers. Oh, it's... Oh, poison! Oh, I'm poisoned, lads. Oh. And what's this? Ooh, interesting. Apparently you can attract him. He's a possible attracted tenant. I recognise him from the wiki as well. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I steal all his stuff. What is that, anyway? Data station. Hazard microscope. Something or other. Uh, and a cool cupboard. I wasn't expecting any of this. Oh, hello. There's more matey boys. I wonder if this is, those are brains in jars. Oh, symbiote in a jar. Nah. Well, let's leave these behind and carry on going. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, look, an eye creature. That was weird. I wonder if that's intentional. Oh, oh. Oh, this is a bit more of a, a tasty facility. Um, let's kill him. <laughs> die. Right. So there might be a, there might be so, there's some furniture. Oh, this this looks like they're, they're all loyal here. Um, but there is some furniture you can get which is counted as odd, such as the disobey sign. But these are fairly obedient. Yeah. Eight flu. I don't go away. Oh, these these are all going to be too easy. I don't really want to pillage this place anyway, to be honest. Oh, hello, mate. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that might be raining jar. Um, oh, it's a... Um, oh, damn it. I have to actually do this dungeon. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I won't be able to pillage anything. I do want that brain in a jar, because that is definitely odd furniture. Just literally just ignoring people now. Just need to get to the um, shield generator. Mate. 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 Oh, <laughs> he took him out for me. Excellent stuff. Right, where am I going? I think I need to go upstairs. Yes, there it is. There's the shield generator. There's actually a million people on me now, but... Oh, poor scientist. But yeah, they're not, they're not harming me at all, really, because this is such a low-level planet in comparison to what I am. Yep, there we go. Oh, no, actually... I turned, I turned. That suddenly got real incredibly quickly. God damn it. Well, at least I got rid of the shield generator. Right, before I next sortie out onto a planet, I might go back to that shield generator thing, or I might not. But I think we should try and attract that, um, the guy in the yellow thingamabob. Um, I really should have um, prepared this a little more. Um, let's try and make a thing here. I could do with putting a door here, actually. This is going to be a weird shaped house, I can feel it. Let's put in a door. There we go. So if I'm going to fit three in here, I might, might want to have a kind of, um... Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, we'll, what we'll do is put that down there. Actually, no, we won't. Let's, let's, let's make this go across here. Oh, this, is, this, this is going to be much bigger than I expected, this one. Right, that's going to be someone's house. I know it's a bit of a weird shape. This is going to be the, kind of like the, the way up. Yeah, let's make it really thin. A thin shaft. And there we go. So, hop, and that goes down there. Oh, that's, um, that's way too small to be a door. Give it that. And that's going to be someone's micro house, I think. In fact, that is that is stupid. That is stupid. So I'm going to... Okay, okay, give us a second here. Right, so one subtle redesign later. And now it looks completely different. I think this should do the trick. It's a bit more... Well, it's a bit less stupid. Doesn't quite look like something from Dizzy anymore. <laughs> One of those castles. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Um, let's, um, let's finish that off. I don't like the way that goes into actual wall. And I don't like any of that stuff. That can fuck off. And someone got stuck down there, so I did all sorts of weird stuff. But no. Oh, no, the the, the door's gone. Uh, never mind. Um, put that there. And that there. Stop complaining about repairs. It's fine. Jesus. Right. Now we also need some platform here. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Right. In fact, that... I don't... I just don't like this room at all. 
Actually, I know, yeah, we'll make it a kind of um, a bonus room for someone. Someone can just... Like, that could be a toilet or something later on. Okay, so now we've got ourselves three places. Let's, I think the odd tenant can go in the bottom, uh, so to speak. Um, so let's put some of that weirdo... Actually, there's not going to be enough room in there. Uh, oh. Right, there, that makes things a lot more straightforward, I think. Um, also need to get rid of the background. Six, there we go. Seven, there we go. Now we've got a much flatter surface. It's Yeah, it's jumpable as well, so that's fine. Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not to get the um, matey boy, but we'll see. Um, we could do with a table. Okay, the, the cool table's going to have to go up in the air by the looks of it. And get rid of that platform. And um, where's that cool table? That's there. And um, we can put the microscope on top. And also, why not? Let's just seal that up. Okay, so in theory, that should be enough to attract our yellow suited guy type thing. Let's have a look. Not even close. But it is a merchant. Oh, a different kind of merchant. By my beard, a customer. Okay, so I've tweaked it to be more focused purely on science, but I'm still not attracting a hazmat. Um, I think um, they, they do share a lot of very similar um, things on the list, but I suspect the scientists might be overriding the other thing. So I'll look out for some more odd stuff, because odd stuff apparently might help attract them. So for now, we'll, we, we shall carry on our hunt for stuff and try to attract a new tenant for here and here. I'm continuing our look for the, the creepling human villager. Um, so, it's just really odd stuff I need. So, I need to find a new planet. I don't think I'm going to find much more on that planet I'm currently over. Uh, let's have a look. Arid, we don't want arid, we don't want ocean. Snow planet. Oh, yeah, let's go for the, um, let's see if we can actually go for the alpaca guard. Because I think that would be quite funny. Because I don't think I've ever actually seen an alpaca guard tenant before. Gamma Beta High 335, or whatever the hell it was. So, hopefully... Oh. <laughs> Never say hopefully when you're going to open one of those fuckers. So hopefully there'll be an alpine biome somewhere on this snow planet. Um, there's a chest. Um, I'm at such a high level now, there's simply no point in ever opening those things. Because it'll never be any, any good. Something just dropped from this. Oh, it's not. I thought something was dropping from the sky. It's not. It's me just getting poisoned. I think we need to actually travel around this planet in style. Um, ow. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow! Piss off. Right, hang on, let's heal up. And, okay, it's car time. Oh my god. This isn't going to last very long. Um, we'll see, see if we can get a few more miles out. Oh. <laughs> on the upside, this appears to be an alpine biome. Um, yeah, these are, these are things that spawn in alpine biomes. Um, yeah, well, hopes, hopefully, anyway. So what are we looking for here? Um, alpine furniture, apparently. Um, right, okay, let's heal up again. Right, let's see what else is... Oh! Dicks. Ah, straight off. Chest. Stone chair. Um, stone chair. Not 100% convinced that's of much use. Um, but I haven't actually had that before, so let's also take the chest. Well, soon, very so Well, fairly soon, I suppose there's going to be the, um... The quest update, I think I think that's the next thing that they're doing. Quest update should have the whole sort of thing about... Um, oh, hello. Oh! Oh. Uh, about being able to attract people to become your crew and all that. Um, also, there will be some new types of quest. They actually showed off a quest, which was actually very similar to what I put in my top five ideas for Starbound. Um, something about like um, decoding things and going on a Da Vinci Code style hunt, which is all very cool. Um, I think I might be out of the alpine biome again. I've got a yellow piss torch. Uh, yeah, don't want any of that. I'm digging into the surface of the alpine biome, hoping to find some kind of chests. I've had a quick look online, and it is indeed stone furniture that counts as alpine stuff. Um, so I might already have some of that stuff um, back in, back on my ship, or at least the um, the blueprints to craft it. So I'm going to continue having a bit of a look round, and then I'm going to go back to my ship, I think. Right. Okay, let's have a look at um, the blueprint situation, see what we've already got, and what I can add to it. Um, right, stone. Um, cobblestone. 
Stone chair and stone table. That seems to be it. So what do these require? Stone chair, stone table, cobblestone. Which I don't have it in my inventory. One of those basic materials in the game. Oh, don't tell me I have to... Okay, let's... Um, hang on. Which one's the... Um, there's a few raw materials chests here. Um, that's dirt. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Cobblestone. Cobblestone? Right, okay. That's good. That's good. Now we can actually start... Let's just make a lot of ch chairs. And a couple of tables. Okay, so that should get us uh, an alpaca guard if we go back to the colony. So, we need to... Oh, that's fucked up. Never mind. So we need to try and fit in as much as we can. I don't know how much we need this time. Oh, look at this. This is Chair City. They're, they're actually much smaller than I thought, actually, them. Which is a, a bit of a problem. Uh, is this going to cover enough space? Okay, let's... Okay, we're stacking tables. That's going to be the new thing. The new trend. Be an alpaca! It's an alpaca guard! Harley Anderson! Looking very mean and moody as he pisses off to the stepladder room. Oh, you're so cool. Hehe, <laughs> look at him. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. And of course, there's our new other tenants. A scuba guy. Uh, cool. And the scientist guy. Um, there's damages in here. Really? Oh, no. Uh, oh, God. That looks... Bloody hell, that narrowly missed everything. Bloody hell, okay. Um, yeah, that must be a meteorite strike. An underground meteorite strike. Oh, God. Our, t uh, our colony is never going to be safe. This is... Ah. Oh, that's ruined everything, but never mind. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you got a door? No, you haven't. You need one more door. Um, there's door. There. That should hopefully shut you up. The arrangement of my home is not the same. Oh, stop whining. I think we need... A little bit more furniture. Am I blown up? Oh, no, hang on. Let's put that there. Right. There we go. That's sorted it out. Now he's happy. You really need a lot of furniture of that sort. Otherwise, they just whine away. Um, is, there a missing is there a missing door here as well? There is. Um, oh, sorry. That's, that's, that can be a wooden door there. There we go. Oh, now he's complete. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> and there's also a little bit of damage here. Um, little candlelight thing has fucked off, but never mind. Let's make sure that the background is still safe. Right. Down, 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 down. So, yeah, there's a bit bit of damage there, so let's we, we probably should just... Yeah, there we go. Stop any enemies getting in. Ah! The fucking hell. Um, so much damage. Thanks, shield. Thank you a lot. Thanks for protecting me. Please, that shit. It's the game mechanics. Um, it has to be said that the game mechanics themselves, not me, um, is resulting in the fact that I don't think the Volcano Colony is actually sustainable in the long term, which is rather disappointing, because otherwise it's just me continuously making repairs. Something just blew up. Something else just blew up. A meteorite's just been hitting here as well. Oh, my poor Sky Rail. Oh, no. I'll get over it. Oh, God. I didn't realise just how bad things have got. Um, sod it. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world. That fucking, fucking hell. Uh, there's even a little bit of meteorite rock just to taunt me. Uh, never mind. So, did the... Oh, yeah, we got the alpaca guard, didn't we? That's fine. Um, I think otherwise... Uh, okay, well, let's get, let's try and let's try and get this bastard odd guy sorted out, and also try and find some more odd furniture for this guy, so we can override the science. So where do we need to go now? Right. Okay, I reckon we should go to a this this yeah, there it is this desert planet in the same system. The reason is that can provide us with the possibilities of tar, and um, tar would either be good for a normal tenant who's like a made of tar. Or it can count as tar furniture, which will help us out getting our odd bloke. Whilst we're going along, I am going to see about crafting... Actually, have we got any tar stuff? We've got some tar. We've got a tar bed at the moment. But we haven't got any tar, so we'll need that. Um, also, the flesh. See if I've actually... Cause I've... Oh, hello. Right, because, yeah, I picked up that flesh strands, didn't I? Oh, that's actually handy, then. Okay, let's get loads of these. When I say loads of these, I mean one. Oh, that's not enough. Uh... 
Oh well. I mean, all all this stuff helps though, because that'll be one more thing towards our list of odd things. Right, let's see if there's any tar on this planet. Better bloody be. Apparently coming soon, um, um, they're going to actually have planets with lots more biomes and things, rather than just the two that you get at the moment. I think you get one, you get the one basic one, plus one sub-biome per planet, no matter how big or small. And in future it's going to be a bit more varied, which will be a lot of fun. Um, what's that down there? Oh, it's it's actual oil. I don't know what oil does anymore. There's a oh yeah, there's a tarball guys. Right, okay, so we need to find chests and things, some furniture. Um, let's have a look down here. I, I'm feeling more confident about going underground for some reason. Um, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, I'm out of the tar zone already. No, let's, let's stay on the surface. This is clearly not working out for any of us. I'm going to end this relationship with the cave now. Someone's been here before. And there. Look at the way they've spread themselves out. Clearly these the people who have come camping together. Clearly not talking to one another. <laughs> spread each other out. Uh, right, they're actually pounding me with tar balls. And here's some kind of tar house. Um, no, that's not going to provide us with good furniture, though. It really is chests for blueprints I'm going to need. So this does seem to be the border between biomes, so I'm going to go down this... Down, down, down into some more caves. Uh, that seems to be the only way... It's, it's such a small biome, this one, that I reckon this is really going to be the only way to do it. Um, so I'm going to have to keep on digging for a while, I guess. Oh! I found something. <laughs> Let's steal their stuff. Alright. Oh, this is... The, the, uh, well, they're dead already. Those are just bandits. Uh, what's this? Ah, uh, fucking diamonds. I can't even be bothered. No, I've come I've come too far. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the tar biome now. Oh. It's raining. It's raining bloody tar. Or oil, anyway. Well, hopefully I might have already got enough stuff to craft some tar stuff. Now I think I've got loads of tar. In theory, that means I'll be able to craft some furniture back on the ship. So let's try that. Uh, that biome was pitiful. Prick of a biome. Alright, let's try. See if I've now got enough stuff. Oh yes, look. Look at this. I've crafted tar man. Waiting in the sky. Let's craft that. 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 A couple of them. Tar ball. Why would I want that? Oh, it's a, it's a throwing thing, that. Um, well, that's that'll be enough if we want to attract a tar bloke, but I don't really want to. I want to attract an odd tenant, don't I? So I need a mixture of everything. Um, I think I think if you just do it with one thing, something will override it, and you won't get the the creepling. Um, let's have a look at my inventory now. Actually, see if I've actually bloody hell it's full. Right, so we've got okay. Let's put all the the okay. That, that's um that's definitely odd. That's definitely odd. That's odd. So is that. Symbiote in a jar. I think that's more science. I'm not sure if that's odd or not. Look, it's, it's kind of is fairly odd, isn't it? Right, let's craft something over here. Let's see what we can craft here. Eye furniture. Um, eye chair. Oh, good. We, we picked up loads of eyes. So all I need is, what was that, a silver bar? And I think I've been throwing all my bloody stuff away recently. Oh, I have. I've been, I've been wasteful. I've been throwing things away like the clappers. Um, silver, maybe there's some silver ore. Yeah, the silver ore. Right, go to the furnace. Oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, God. Right, you have to click that before you press silver. Silver bar. Let's just make all the silver. Right, go back to here. What was it? Eye. And there we go. Eye chair. Oh, look at that. And an eye table. Oh, my God, that is odd as dicks. Right. I'm feeling quite confident now, actually. I think we might have enough stuff to attract an oddball. Um, yeah. In fact, I might be able to slip some of this into the other house, and we'll we'll hopefully get ourselves our yellow jacketed scientist as well. Cool, and we'll have a we'll have a full complement of weirdos then. Yeah. Did I go? Oh god, I'm not sure if I chose the right one there. So many bloody people around these days. Ugh. I liked it when I was lonely. Right, okay, first of all, let's try and if we get rid of, let's get rid of that and put one odd thing down. And let's see if we can get our weird thingy. Right, do that. 
Yeah, that's good. You go away. This is good because that means it's no longer that sciency. So let's take that. Let's take the tenant deed. And hopefully that, that means it shouldn't be overridden and we should get a yellow jacket guy. Did I actually put it in? No, I didn't. Actually, let's put that there, out of the way. Come on. Yes! Sorry. That's <laughs> I enjoyed that way too much. Yes, I'm starting to get the measure of these buddy systems now. Yeah. So, yeah, you need a mixture of odd and science to get one of those. But if you put too much science in there, you'll only get a scientist. And presumably if you put too much odd stuff in there... Uh, I don't know what would happen. <laughs> well, probably you get our odd guy. I wonder if you actually do need a mixture of things, or whether I can just, like, do all... Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Um, not sure what I'm talking about now. Right. Come on. Do, 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 do. Um, that can go up in the air a bit. There we go. Uh, th that's not part of the house, is it? Right. Come on, let's odd up. Uh, okay, first of all, we'll have a... <laughs> a tar man. There's a tar man. Uh, let's put... Let's put a little, um... Just for decorations, but... Or just for just my for my own personal. There we go. That just makes it look a little better. So we don't want too much tar stuff. Otherwise we'll get that looks like a bog. Um, otherwise we'll get a, an actual tar guy. What do actually a tar guy looks like? Let's try and attract a tar guy first, and then we'll turf him out. Um, okay, four. That's just an ape. That's not anything. So okay, so sod the tar guy. Let's some. Um, Let's see. Okay, let's do this. What we'll do, we'll redesign the house. To get the odd guy, you need 40 blocks worth of furniture. I don't think we've got anywhere near that just yet. Um, oh, the eye table stuff, that's good. Um, an eye chair. Uh, another eye chair. Brain in a jar, or symbiote anyway. Um, and a chest down there. Wow, this is there's got to be 40 blocks here now. Let's have a go. Um, that's going to have to go there. Come on. Uh, lads. Oh, there's no, there's no light source. I know. That's okay. Put the light source in. That's a tar. Is that a tar guy or an oddball? No, it turns out this is the um, this is the creepling human villager. Um, so he's a human, he's just been weirded out into this weird, weird red-eyed goon. And the tar pit uh, villager tenant type guy doesn't have the eyes, it's a bit more of a, like a weedy little oddball with no eyes. So yeah, they just look, they just happen to look very similar. Cool! Yay! Okay, so I just need to have a quick look around the colony just to make sure there's no damage. And then we can finish up. Oh, this is looking good. I like this, I like this new remodeled sauna. And um, with two levels now. So you can have an upper and a downer. Um, and then you can go in the different levels. Uh, right, okay, so this this room's fucked up. Um, every time I go in here, some of the some of the, the, the wood is burnt away. Um, I don't even know if the original tenant, I mean, that socialite is even there anymore. Um, I don't know. I had to turf one socialite out of the, um, the sauna. Uh, there's actually a plant. There's actually a kind of um, a flower pot salesman, which I kind of like want to move into there instead of that chef. But that can wait for another time, i.e. never. Right, okay, so everything looks fairly good up here. Everyone's safe and sound. That bit of wood hasn't burnt out, mysteriously. Everything's good over here. Nothing's exploded recently. Mysterious door to nowhere, it feels like. Uh, nothing's going on out, out there. So yeah, I think we've learned quite a lot in this episode. Mainly, volcano colonies are doomed. It's just a matter of time before they all blow up and everybody dies. But until then, I think we've got ourselves a nice little tenanty extension. Um, you will notice that this is going deeper and deeper underground. I honestly don't think there's a way of being anywhere near the surface and surviving. <sighs> right, okay, so that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching this um, tenant heavy episode. Um, what's he chasing me for? You stop chasing, go away, go away, go away. Ah! I don't know why, it's not going to do anything. <laughs> okay, subscribe for um, more Starbound content. Um, content. Ugh, I've become one of them. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>